guys here we go going into part two um of foreplay episode six i believe it is um we just ended off with everyone going to bed at a tavern so um father white warren sleeping outside kane brie uh sleep in the rooms um you guys can assume you know that the the mayor's in his room sleeping um hopefully. yeah yeah hopefully uh, next day comes around. What time are you guys trying to wake up? I probably try to aim for a full night dress unless the mayor or someone comes and gets me. All right. So it was about two two thirty when you guys went to went to sleep a.m. So full sleep would be eight hours. So ten ten thirty. Seven. Yeah, I'll probably wake up around like eight or nine. Okay. We'll call it eight thirty. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll try to do the same. Okay. Uh, did you, by the way, did you guys get anything yet? Yes. Okay. Yes, I got mine. I said I don't know if Achilles would get one because yeah, of, yeah, 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 you got one as well. I got one. Okay, cool. Uh, Father White, what did your ancestors <clears throat> tell you uh, on this night? My ancestors told me to beware those with red eyes or a sharp tongue, for the next day may be may bring betrayal. Mm, pretty good. I like that. Okay. Well, no, no. I like it. Uh, Kane, what what uh, would your spirit of vengeance tell you? Something foul maybe maybe follow your co you and your comrades on the next day. Be careful whom you trust. Ooh, okay. Both about deception. I like it. I do enjoy it. Because we don't have enough deception in this group. <laughs> <laughs> My spirit guys being very intelligent today. I have been honest. <laughs> All right. So Kane, you're gonna wake. You're gonna be the first one to wake up. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, eight thirty rolls around. You're awake. I'm assuming you're gonna by about nine o'clock. You're gonna stroll downstairs, grab a bite to eat, stuff like that. Yep. Okay. Uh, bartender's not there. It's a barmaid kind of running the place right now. So uh, yeah, just kind of heads up on that. Some just just some things you notice. Um, yeah, it's not not really anybody else down there. Mainly just you and like one other person that's passed out on the table. So, um, Father White, you said what time you're gonna try to wake up? I'm probably gonna hit for this. I don't know. Um, but this whole time, the whole time, yeah. You try to like, sleep? I'm gonna try to get eight hours. Okay. Full time, like me. Yep. Okay. Um, next person wake up is the mayor. Mayor's gonna wake up. Um, about nine o'clock, and uh, yeah, he gets dressed, gets everything going really quickly. Um, Kane, you're gonna see him stroll past you, but you obviously have no idea who it is. Um, exactly. He's not gonna grab any food. He's not gonna grab a drink. Um, he's gonna lay his key on the bar uh, and think the the bar, bar maiden, and you see him walk out. Okay, um, nine thirty, nine forty five rolls around, um, and you see the same guy return. You know, and he goes upstairs, and you see him come back down with the two guards that were at the table with you last night. Uh so things I remember from last night. I do remember things from last night, right? Uh, would Would your character remember things from last night? I don't know how drunk you got. <laughs> I I honestly didn't get that drunk because I don't know the people I was drinking with. So okay. it wasn't so I mean, yeah, you yeah. had you had two, three, four, but nothing nothing to make you forget or pass out. So yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. In that case, then I recognize the guards. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yep. Um. They still seem wobbly as they're coming down the stairs. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They only got a little drunk. <laughs> only a little. <laughs> <laughs> only slight bit to the point where they passed out, you know. Well, they just don't remember going up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. That's true. True. Um, I am going to keep my res uh, my resolve about me and not interact with them just yet as I finish my food. Okay. Understandable. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, he, you know, they, they, they all go outside and then the... The mayor again comes back inside and goes over and uh, speaks to the barmaiden, and uh, you see her kind of tell him like two or three things, and then he goes upstairs, and uh, he's gonna knock, uh, I guess, on Breezy's door because Breezy's the only one left here. Um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna like kind of bang on your door. What, <laughs> <laughs> Sir Dwarf? We must be. We, we must be moving. We're on a time-sensitive manner here. 
Please, gather uh. your things. We must we must leave immediately. Okay. All right. And, <laughs> and um, he also yells at you. Do you know where where Father White or Warren are? You probably would not. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sir Dwarf. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Okay. Let's give me enough time to wash my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Make um, it ten. Make it ten. Uh, so yeah, he goes down, uh, comes downstairs, uh, and he sees you, uh, Kane. He's gonna walk over to you, and he says, uh, "Sir, uh, forgive me for interrupting you in your meal. Do you, have you seen uh, a little gnome, and or uh, a man of the cloth?" Uh, you speak of the dwarf's companions? Yes, 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 I do. Ah, then, uh, you. Uh, I am not aware of where they went. I know that they kind of went outside. Uh, they didn't feel comfortable staying in, in the inn. <sighs> of course. However. They give them free rooms however, and they don't even use them. They did not feel comfortable staying in the, in the realm of the sickness. Understandable. Uh, if, I'm, if, if I understand correctly. Uh, I will tell you, however, um, I have decided to embark upon the same quest as them. So I guess I am your new fourth member. And you are? Uh, I am Archduke Kane Repnus of the... Oh, it's a long name. It's, uh, that's definitely a mouthful, first. that's for sure. The first. <laughs> um, you may call me Kane. Uh, okay. Kane, uh, I guess it's a pleasure to have you along. I mean, I mean, they've saved my life before, so I guess I should probably just go with what they say. You know, if they enter, you know, bring someone on, so be it. Um, my did they? Service, but... Did they by chance have uh, a woman with them as well? I did. I did not see her check in at all. Uh, if you speak of the tiefling, uh, she yes did not have the choice, but I think she stayed with the wizard that they. Oh, 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 oh. All got tricked by. You said they encountered a wizard. Correct. Kane's getting us in trouble. Okay. Jeez, what, okay. What a tattle to dad. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, I know nothing. I know nothing of what okay. I was trying to keep. It's like, you shit, it's like we snuck out last night to go oh, to a party. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go find them and just try to take all this in. That's okay. Yeah, we're leaving soon. So hopefully, you got your stuff ready. And he, I am ready to ride. Yeah, and he he walks, you know, leaves again, and um, oh, yeah, he goes looking for Warren and Father White. I uh, I pay my tab. I think it's what five gold or three gold uh, for a meal. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's three gold. Okay, I pay my uh, three gold, and I head to the stables where my horse and. The rest of my kit is kept. Okay, cool, cool. Um, okay. And then... So, yeah, uh, it's going to take him about 15 minutes to actually find Warren and Father White. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to walk over to you first, Father White, and he's going to kind of nudge you in the side with his foot. Take dirt in your face. <laughs> Good morning, man. I see you're feeling better. Not really, but we're kind of on a time-sensitive mission here. Um, I believe we're trying to save your friend we here. Were, we were kept up late with another problem, but of course, something with uh, something about a wizard. I've, I, I guess I heard. Um, I'd really rather not talk about it right now, to be honest. I just we need to get on the road. We could talk about it on the road. Uh, get your friend. Understandable. Get your gnomish friend awake here, and we we, we need to go. We'll meet you at the car carriage. Hey. Yeah, whatever, same thing. Uh, yeah, and he and he yeah, he just turns around and walks away. Um I'll go uh I'll go shake Warren awake. Okay. Hey, wake the up ball, The boss is mad <laughs> <laughs> Mass is gonna be mad at us. <laughs> He's gonna get yelled at <laughs> So yeah. Uh, what's Bree? Are you downstairs yet? It's been fifteen minutes. Uh, you said ten. Yep, I'm fully. I I've fully armored, and yes, I am downstairs now. 
Okay. Um, uh, all right. I'm just going to be chilling. I, I, will, I will head to the general store if there is one real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a general store. Um, <clears throat> you have to pass the carriage to get to it. Awesome. <laughs> um, I guess that's passing. I'll check in with the mayor first then. Okay. Excuse me, Mayor. Uh, I know we're on a time crisis, but would it be... Do we have time if I take a quick stop at the general store? I know I've already delayed you enough. Please. If it's not okay, please hurry up. Fine. Please hurry up. Thank you, Mayor. Um, and I'm assuming, Bree, you're here with, you know, the horse that you've been yep. given. And are you already at the top of it, or are you mounted um, on this bad boy, or are you standing beside it? Oh, so I'm on your way. You're mounting it? <laughs> Did anybody decide to wake up, Timmy? <laughs> oh, God. Again, I don't know. I don't know who you talk about. I, I didn't know you put him into a room because I was already up in mine. I'll run inside and drag Timmy out. I'm really upset right now because I wasn't going to say anything, and I'd already I know. thought of it. I knew you were. <laughs> I knew already you. thought of it. I'm literally role playing as I know nothing. What you know? You're talking. making good or you happy you magic. Help, Why? You know you yep. helped someone go to bed last night. That was passed out oh, on yeah. the floor. But yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, you get uh, you get Timmy, and he is really, really still fucked up. <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's. He's miserable. Uh, when you wake him up, first thing he does is vomit on the floor. <laughs> oh, good. You'd think this kid would have built a, a tolerance by now. <laughs> Second time no, drinking, right? He's time. on his own. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to just drag him out. Just, no time. Let's go. Take him by the back of his shirt. Can't okay. do your hair. Okay. By uh, this time, I would have my bar my horse already... Uh... You know, unstabled. Uh, it's, I already looked it up as ten gold for stabling for a day. Uh, time that I was here. It would have been. It's been. It's like three gold per day. I, oh, shit. for for stabling. It's yeah. It's pretty, pretty cheap. Wow. That's. Oh God. Okay. I already. Did it's it's it. yeah. It's kind of like housing, except for a horse. You don't really need a bed and a whole bunch of shit. But you know, act like a person. They just feed it, and it's about it. Let it have a water stuff like that. Uh, Magic, as you pull Timmy downstairs, you, the barmaid tells you, you know, thanks for coming, and she kind of gives you a wink uh, as you leave. <laughs> well, thank you for your service. Um... Get a quickie. Get a quickie. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we shall tell room tales six. of that quickie. Room six. <laughs> Um, is Timmy like? Is Timmy awake? Is Timmy? Is Timmy? He's he can stumble targeted. upon his own ish. Yes. Well, I'll probably say something to him like, uh, "Let this be a lesson in consequences, Timmy. That even free drinks have a cost." <laughs> wow. I'll just kind of push him out the door. Oh, nerd! Uh, nerd! Hey, <laughs> the whole party can't be evil, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, with an influence like Bree, I don't think that's going to do too much. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, Warren, you go to a general shop. What a yep. yep. Uh, excuse me. I'm assuming it's a male clerk. Yeah, male clerk. clerk. Yes. What can uh, I do for you? Sir. I I have no time to spare. Is it okay if I get four potions to go? Um, four potions. Uh, to go. They're gonna be seven can gold each. <laughs> you don't want to eat them here. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'll take that down to two then. Two, okay. So yeah, he he lays four out on the counter, and you you say he's like that'll be twenty eight gold, and uh, you say you want two instead. He takes the other two and puts them back. Fourteen gold for you. Here you go, sir. Thank you much. Pleasure doing I, business. Yeah, I'm I don't have to slip in anymore. <laughs> what happened to um, your slip? I'll rush back out. The guy still has it, and he's oh, not at the counter anymore. So, I, it's all right. It's whatever. <laughs> I will rush back outside. No, uh, if you're talking about the bartender, bartender, he would have given it back to you. Oh, you, you didn't well. say he did. I didn't say yeah. he did, but he looked at it and then gave him a room key. You know, assuming he would have. Yeah, he has no ill inten intentions, like Gordon. Man, I, <laughs> I thought I was all <laughs> sly and how I did it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Man, I thought I was all cool. Um, so you know, yeah, you Apparently you have it not. if you want to change. Forever. No, I'll call it. Okay, it's it already happened. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you so you head back to the carriage. Um, mm -hmm. all right, you get back to it. 
Father White, about this time, you've got Timmy dragging him out of there, uh, throwing him on the cart. And Mayor says, okay, let's get on the road. And we'll talk about whatever God knows what. But let's let's just get going. Let's be on our way, then. I'm riding my horse, by the way. Yeah. If anybody... We, do, we don't care. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. I'm the nice one. I'm Ouch. <laughs> um, uh, is anyone... Yeah, I mean... So, anything... I mean, anything to be said prior... You know, who, are you guys going to talk first? You could let the mayor say something first. I'll probably speak up and ask the mayor if there's anything he wants to get off his chest because he seemed aggravated. How, how would you know? You were... uh, but when I when I passed by him, I was asking if I could oh. take the time to go to the general store. Oh, that's true. Okay, good call. Um, I okay. So, uh, it's been about an hour on the road, so you guys are a little ways away from the city. Did you guys want to talk amongst each other prior to uh, the mayor saying anything? Or Warren saying anything? I don't think you that. really could get away with it. Uh, I mean, you could. I mean, he came over and talked to you guys privately before. You know, you're on a horse. You can, you know, go forward, go back. You can talk privately amongst the, you know, more or less whisper, but if you wanted to. Again, you don't have to. I don't care. No, nah, I'd probably let it happen. Okay. Fuck it. Okay, so Sticky. yeah, so Warren, you <laughs> priest that doesn't give a shit about anything. <laughs> I, am, I am neutral, so let's go. Damn, that's true. He is um, neutral. Father White, where do you normally keep your staff? If I had one, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> On my back. Okay. Um. So yeah, he's just. Uh, you asked that Warren, and Mary's gonna be like, I wake up to find out. Something of you guys doing something with a wizard to find out I have a new crew member to find out we lost a crew member. I don't know where to find you guys. I give you guys free rooming, lodging, you, and you do nothing with it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've been using your favors wisely. And I had to wake you, you up this morning, Sir Dwarf. And we and couldn't you went find out last you last night. night. And you, and last night you went out and put yourself in danger. You're here to protect me, not to go do some side mission. Side quest. <laughs> uh, I'm Is sorry, it, sir. Am man. I not paying you enough to protect me? You're basically a getting question, 50 man. gold a day for this. We and you're going to be a dick free behind the walls of an inn. Are you going to be a dick free? What are you going to say? Choose your Dick words mode. wisely. <laughs> Dick mode, go. Dick mode, hashtag. I mean, and, and he's yeah. I mean, he directed the initial statement at everyone. Um, yeah. Even you, Kane. Even though you're kind of newer. Yeah. I mean, he's just really uh, peeved. Uh, I'll probably step up. Uh, I'm sorry, Sir Mayor. Uh, the side mission was as much of a surprise uh, to me as it was to you, but they needed my help, and I couldn't leave them stranded. Um. It was, it was a personal matter, I'm assuming, for them, from what I was told. And as of Cain, we found him when we were along doing the wizard's tasks. And he needed help, but to get his help, he figured. What he happened help to us. our sorceress? Um, That's her business. <laughs> But uh, I can assure you that she's not. She will not be accompanying us on this journey anymore. But as you can see, we found a nice replacement. So you're saying she died? I apologize. No, she is not. No, dead. I didn't say any of that. <laughs> he I just, just said that she yeah. won't be returning. <laughs> I shall trust your judgment on the replacement. You've saved my life once, but let's try to stay focused on our current goal. Again. I apologize. I I was not. Sure that you needed to be protected within the walls of an inn. Um, yeah, protection's pretty much needed everywhere. It's kind of what I'm paying you for. So I'll make sure I'll make sure the dwarf sleeps with you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, where's your staff? I don't see it on you. It was another unfortunate loss. Apparently, staffs are not as made as well as they should be. 
<laughs> God. <laughs> well, fortunately, we can grab a new one. I assure you, I am city. quite competent without it. Well, you can just grab a new one at the next city. Sure. Okay. The paper I don't have. <laughs> um, Does he know he doesn't have it? No. Mm -mm. May has no idea. Uh, Kane, he's gonna he's gonna come over to you. He's gonna say, uh, since I guess you're part of the party now, I guess for you know our, our traveling crew, uh, hands you a piece of paper. Uh, it's basically gonna get you everything that you need for free. Um, pay paying at fifty gold per day. You know you've joined a little bit late, so you're not gonna get as much as they are. But that's, I guess. The way it's going to be, since they're bringing on new people without asking, so. Much appreciated, sir. Well, I mean, to be fair, I did try to check up on him, but <laughs> incapacitated. <laughs> Mayor is incapacitated. I think he would have been even a little bit more pissed if we woke him up in the middle of the night, <laughs> and we were late the next morning, and we smelled heavily of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> like open the hey, they smelled of alcohol. Like, <laughs> we, I didn't have a single drink. Um, and then you see him go talk hey, to to Jay and Paulo, um, and you can hey, tell they're, they're kind of they're, they're kind of getting uh, an ass chewing as well. They're gonna get it. Yeah, uh, they're kind of getting an ass chewing um, about same same thing. Not you know he's paying them to protect him, not have a good time and get drunk everywhere they go. So. Um, anything you guys would like to do before reaching our next city, Veripol? Are we going to do any stops or anything? Uh, we're probably going to stop uh, in the middle of the night. Nothing nothing super dangerous is going to happen. Um, you guys started at about 10. You're going to stop about 10. And you're going to have, you know, you know, eight hours rest. You pick it back up, 6 in the morning, mm -hmm. and make it, to the, make it to the city about 5, 6 p.m. Uh, the next day. Um, um, I'll go back towards Bree, and I'll spark up a conversation. Okay. Go ahead. So, so Dwarf, <laughs> you were you were pretty steamed about the whole tavern situation with the wizard. What? What's so? Why is that so important to you? Owning a tavern is part of my family's history. We are very, very good masons known throughout the land can they all but, hear this can they all hear this or just um, just warren just warren okay sorry i'm talking loudly aren't i um, well, I, mean, I just that's why i'm asking say it yeah. say it the way you've been but just for clarification yeah, I, only I warren can hear me uh okay fuck now i'm off, off my place um uh, do you want me to go yeah go you do anything. um if if your family is such great masonries what would accomplish, what what would make them proud if you obtained it cheaply as obtaining it from a wizard than building oh. it yourself? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> do like that. <laughs> Zinger! <laughs> you got him. <laughs> Damn. That hurt. That burned right down to the cockles, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ask the hard questions. Mm -hmm. Makes for better stories. <laughs> it's like you're a reporter. I, I like it. <laughs> I like the tenacity, I guess, of that. Uh, of the uh, smallest one I, there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just be like, for such a small man, little one, you do have a very large brain. I was going to say, you ask big <laughs> questions. <laughs> and I'm just going to like look down and ponder that. That was actually really good. Damn. Well, Damn. <laughs> I can see you have no answer to my question, so we we'll, we can pick this up later when you have a sufficient. Did that answer work, Achilles? Yes. Or is I'm asking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sending Achilles something in a private message. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I was done, so I'd probably oh, just yeah. go back to my normal place unless Bree had something to say. No, nah, man. I'm sitting. That was a good. That was like, bam, <laughs> dropping <laughs> some logic bombs over here. Um, okay. I'll say it out, conversation. I'll say it out loud real quick, Achilles. Uh, there's a bunch of different like suggested domains, uh, but there's actually a god of war, and it's Tempest. Um, and his symbol is an upright flaming sword. Okay. Uh, but that like he that's actually the clarification. God of war. It's not just a suggested domain. Like for, you know, the goddess of peace is also a suggested domain for life and nature. Um, 
Yeah. Your actual God of War is Tempest, so. Okay. Not to change the subject, but apparently my wife just sent me a message that she saw someone with these nuts on their front license plate today. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What's your license plate say? D's nuts? D's nuts? <laughs> no, seriously. I'm being serious, sir. Mm-hmm. That's classy. Uh, that's a okay. classy motherfucker right there. <laughs> yes, it is. Savage as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anybody else want to, uh, to talk to anybody? Um, you, I mean, again, you've got a long road trip. I mean, you guys are going to have your usual hear their conversations. Um, but is there any meaningful conversations that you guys should have? You feel should ha- should be had? Is the mayor still in a very perturbed mood? Um, after a while, he's always going to calm down. It's, it's going to take him about an hour to really kind of, you know, to get over it after he's talked to you guys. Um, you know, he got it off his chest. Now he's cooling down. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's good now after a couple hours. Okay. He's a little triggered, but no, <laughs> our, <laughs> so triggered. <laughs> you're triggering me. Um, <laughs> no, our no, original no. mission was to take him to Bella Chulis, correct? Correct to help you save Mills. Free the man. Okay, so Bella Chulis is our end goal. Uh, yeah, it's the, and that's the main capital of the world that you guys yep. that met the world map. So, um, yeah, that yeah that I mean that was the main mission. He was he was actually helping you out. He was taking this to. Uh, mm-hmm. The counselors, because supposedly the mayor of Hyran is doing some corrupt stuff. And he has evidence via your note. Mm-hmm. And he's going to show it to the councils to help get rid of uh, the yeah the mayor of Hyran. All right, I'll probably let it like let him steam for a little while. And then I'll go back and I'll try to like apologize. Like, I apologize for us being tardy this morning and and not informing you of our um, intentions in the previous town but um, we didn't feel like it was uh, our place to tell you we were going for the um, for the tiefling for Cassandra and then it didn't end well so but we got a replacement so that's good understandable I may have come across as harsh I do apologize Um, I mean I've always tried to get rid of the the mayor of higher and as well you know, in general, uh, you finally have you've given me evidence, and I believe we're also here to trying to, you know, help you with the problem that you're having there. Um, I, yeah, I kind of was just ugh, one of those one of those days. I wasn't feeling well still, and surprisingly, I'm feeling better now that we're further away from that city. It's got to be something about it. Um, um, the only thing I will say is uh, we made some dwarven friends last night, and they did warn us about Blackwater. Um, that it's not the uh, most welcoming town. Verpool. And to um, Verpool? You're going to Verpool. They're going to Blackwater. They're they're going yeah. to where oh, you I'm just sorry. came from. Reverse. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Reverse. Then um, they did warn us about the town that it's not the best town and that there's maybe some shady dealing. So I wouldn't spend a lot of time there. I don't skip skip it if there's any possible way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna set up camp here pretty pretty shortly. Um, probably another couple hours on the road. We're gonna set up camp, and then we'll probably hit. Or our goal is to hit Veripol, you know, late tomorrow night. Maybe stop in for a couple hours, and if you know the horses are good enough, maybe. Well, I guess we can just push on through then. Hmm. I think it would be so, wise. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna write up... to say yeah. You said you wanted to say something. <clears throat> no, I was gonna write up to the mayor and you know officially introduce myself. Uh, okay. Uh, my Lord Mayor, um, I know we didn't get a chance earlier to, you know, exchange pleasantries and be to actually who I am and for you to, you know, do the same. But uh, it is pleasure to join you on this quest and to make your acquaintance. Uh, agreed. Pleasure. Uh, pleasure meeting you, Kane. Um, I am Mayor. Th- his name's na- his name's Mayor Theo. Uh, I have a last name for him somewhere. Um. That's not it. Said Theo. Yeah, Mayor Theo. Uh, okay. his, uh, he's yeah, he's the mayor of Polderberg. Yeah, he's gonna. So he's like pleasure, uh, Kane. My name's uh, Mayor Theo, Theo Olma, and you know I'm the mayor of Polderberg. Uh, we're currently on a mission to to deliver some evidence of a corrupt mayor that's a, just a city away from me. So uh, we're we're delivering the said information uh, to have him removed from his position and dealt with accordingly. 
a noble goal as any. Um, I pledge my sword to you, and I will do anything in my power to defend you. I appreciate that. Uh, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Much appreciated. Cash money. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yeah. So, unless you guys have anything else, I mean, again, you're going to have a couple of hours the next day um, to kind of talk as well. Uh, about You're about to set up camp. You guys get a fire going. Uh, you know, you started at 10, you go 10 hours. You know, 10 p.m., you guys got a fire going. You guys are just kind of hanging out around the fire. Uh, if you guys want to go do whatever it is you want to do. I'll probably uh, wait till morning. I'm going to set uh, up my tent. Okay. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go like, where most of them can hear me without, like, the mayor of them hearing me. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask, um, should we tell the mayor that the wizard gave us another task? Or should we let it slide again? <laughs> I would say that we could complete this task after we are done with the mayor. I don't. I do not believe the two coincide whatsoever. You remember that uh, he has business in Bella Chulish for four days. The uh, mayor does. Hmm. He he planned for four days in the uh, in the capital. So you can yeah just just for you. Yeah, I okay. would say. Or about that. I, I just thought I, I'd bring it up. I personally think we should not. At least that's what my D2 just told me. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a D2 and you got a 2. It says don't. Okay. That's one way to do it. I like it. Um, okay. Yeah. So campfire, you know, you guys are sitting around the campfire having chit-chat. Um, the guards are, you know, they're kind of talking to each other. Man, they're like, I don't remember how I got to caught up to the room last night. <laughs> The other one's like, neither do I. <laughs> I mean, you hear you hear the little small talk that they're having. Yeah, nothing fancy. Um, one of them's like, man, I can't wait to get back uh, get back to Paulderburg, have a nice steak. You know, just again, little little small talk, nothing nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, unless you guys have anything else, you're gonna be hitting the sack. I'll probably ask them how they met the dwarves. How these guys, how the, the guards met them. Um, honestly, we, they were actually in there when we got there. Uh, mm. yeah, we, we were over in town and the mayor went up there and, uh, the dwarves were sitting in the corner. We, we took our own table and, you know, drinks happened. We invited them over and just kind of kicked it off, you know, telling, telling stories and stuff. Probably it then. <laughs> I don't trust the dwarves. Right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my brewing equipment, and I'm going to make myself a beer. Okay. Roll a d20. Oh, a, good, a good ale. Roll a d20. Here we go again. A <laughs> Night roll, two. Roll a d what? Roll a d20. D20. Okay. Yeah, you make a pretty oh, damn good ale. That's a good beer. Hell yeah. Don't let, don't let the guards see you. Yep. And then I'm going <laughs> to... Only Timmy see you. I'm going to put it away after I'm done. Okay. So yeah. Good. Absolutely. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna take out my whetstone and Ooh, sharpen my nice swords. Story. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh. Okay. Roll at d20. <laughs> Not until, you everybody, until everybody starts getting ready to go to sleep. So. Yeah. If so, he yeah. rolls a one, he cuts his hand off. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. We already were getting ready to lose a man the last game. So let's not. <laughs> right. Uh. So yeah, you guys are gonna. We're gonna go on to sleep. Yeah. You're about I'm to assuming. hit. About to hit the sack. Yeah. Unless anybody else has anything else they would like to do. No, I'm good. Uh, I was pray thinking to... about doing something, but oh, so are you guys praying again, or are you gonna stick with what you had? Since uh, was, well, since I'm I was six, that was a really short night. Oh, uh, uh, I up to you, though. yeah, I'd like to actually look over at uh, the uh, uh, fuck, Rara, what's her name again? Warren. 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 I was like Wells. Like what? No. Uh, I'm gonna look over at Warren and uh, Father White, and I'm gonna ask them, uh, "Have you restocked on your potions?" I, I acquired two very fast um, before we left this morning on a road. Do you uh, have any way of acquiring more? Is there anything around us that we could use? <laughs> He's just baiting you. Um, I, I have nothing to do with. <laughs> Magic. What a shame. Magic. <laughs> what a shame. Magic, do you say anything? He's talking to you as well. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Okay. No. Wait, did, you break, <laughs> did you break it? Is it broken? No, I got it. No, it's, it's good. He got it fixed. He's sitting there like, how's your saying this? He's just like messing with it in his pocket. Like, yeah. Do what? I'm just don't like literally it. mixing potions. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I still don't know what you're talking about. What? I found these. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. Yeah. You, uh, yeah, you got you all eventually pass out. You wake up the next day. Uh, if you're wanting to ask or pray to whatever, go ahead. You got time to get it. We got more people now, too. I, yeah. I say, Kane, you probably get a different one. I don't know about Father White. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to re roll for mine. No offense, booby, but. No, I mean, it's just part. I mean, new day. I mean, it's, it's straight up straight up to you guys, so. And I was going to say, I was going to pray to uh, the god Tempest. Um... Okay. So, yeah, guys, uh, Kane is now praying to the god of Tempest. God of Tempest is the god of war. Uh, again, his emblem is a upright flaming sword. So, oh, I think uh, um, anybody, yeah, I say he's about to show up on stream. Anybody that rolled a, or the closest to nine gets it. Yeah. If they're guessing in chat, I don't know if you, we even told them to. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I set that number. Yeah, so you guys, you guys go to bed. You got to wake up oh. roughly about six a.m. <laughs> it's booby again. Hell yeah! There we go. <laughs> I got him, booby. There we go. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Magic, if you're wanting to wake up a little bit earlier, you can. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit earlier. I'm going to try to get my eight hours, but I'm going to wake up a little bit earlier. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I mean, this will be your second short rest. You guys are all going to lose your exhaustion. Yeah, I'll wake okay. up. So if you uh, didn't get your eight hour, hours, you'd yeah. still be good. I will I will be right, waking yeah. up about an, uh, about an hour and a half earlier to take down you know, my tent and that... reboot. Course. I'll do daybreak then. Let's say an hour and a half. You guys are going to be waking up about 6 a.m. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to all wake up roughly about 6 a.m. So if you're waking up an hour and a half early, you're looking at 4.30. Because you're going to bed roughly like 10, 10.30. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll say we'll say 30 minutes earlier. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Kane, come, time comes around. You wake up. Uh, do you wake up before him, Father White, or roughly about the same time? Um, Whatever minutes. daybreak is compared to how he... Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll say we'll, that might be a little bit later. I was just say, yeah, uh, it's you probably wake up a little bit earlier, actually, according to him. I mean, it's springtime. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you know, it's already past daylight savings time. <laughs> oh my um, god! So, um, yeah, time time rolls around. Magic, you probably wake up about fifteen ish minutes before him. So, Kane, when you wake up, you're gonna notice that Father White's not there. Uh, Father White, what are you? What are you I'm to gonna look for potion stuff. <laughs> oh <my God>. Lucky <laughs> right. Bree's not awake. So let's go to roll. Oops. Let's go. And, let's actually roll a nature check. We've been doing, I think, medicine. Let's roll a nature check to see if you can find the herbs, and then we'll roll medicine to see if you how how well you do making the potions. All right, okay. Nature. Yep. That's and good. then that's good. Medicina. And... You, oh, you crush it. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So you, you find enough to make one potion. Um, you definitely mm -hmm. succeed in making the one potion. Okay. <laughs> you Good. definitely. <laughs> the pleasant pie. You, you, <laughs> yeah, you did not like it this time. Thank God. With a pleasant pine scent. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, it takes you. You know, you take 10, 15 minutes looking around for for the herb, um, and then you spend another five, 10 minutes. Uh, crafting the potion, so you're gonna be back mm -hmm. before everyone else wakes up, just in time. Or just I can in time, barely I see. Breezy. <laughs> Breezy's dark. Yeah, right. you, you look like super you are, dark. Yeah, hey, you're better. a little <laughs> better. Yeah. There you go. I, I'm researching as we go as well. Oh, okay. Like I'm going between screens. It's just dark out. So <laughs> oh, it's no. dark out. And Breezy's house doesn't have indoor lighting. <laughs> Candles. <laughs> he has a computer, and that's it. My <laughs> <laughs> God, no, that not, hamster doesn't stop running on that wheel. Have, he's just too lazy to use them. <laughs> Let there be light. Let the be light. Um, okay, so, I just yeah. like how freaking Achilles has like a fire, like a solar flare <laughs> behind him. <laughs> always yeah. a sunset in Achilles' house. Always, always. Um, so yeah, gives ambiance, guys. What I'll so, what I'll do is um, I'll take the potion back and I'll put it next to Breezy as he sleeps. Oh, you <laughs> like a little, little bow on it. Bastard. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Is so, yeah, it a Kane. little leaf bow? 
of Santa. <laughs> uh, Kane, you get your your stuff, uh, you know, all packed up, and you're ready to go. Roughly about the same time, everyone else wakes up. Uh, Mayor wakes up. The guards wake up. Warren, you're waking up. You're nobody has exhaustion yeah. anymore. So if you put something in there, yeah, to get rid of it. But yeah, you guys seem you don't you definitely don't feel as lightheaded, not uh, nauseous, anything like that, like you were feeling back in Hallenshire. Um, you actually f- feel pretty rested. Um, not you know you've been exhausted for you know day day and a half. You guys been <laughs> taking battle wounds, scars, all those things over the past couple days. Right, a rough day. Yeah, been a rough been a rough couple of days. <laughs> so yeah, it was nice to be able to actually have a pretty much like a full day without anything kind of going on. So uh, I need to change one thing. I need to change the date. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys, you know, you get all packed up, you get your horses, you know, saddled up, uh, get everything put on the wagon, the cart, whatever, and yeah, you guys are ready to to depart. And yeah. Anything you guys would like to talk about? Anything you'd like to do before you reach Veripol? Um, who do, who do I want to talk to this time? <laughs> talk about any magic potions showing up next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks wow. for sleeping, Bay. Breezy, uh, Bree, do you want to say anything about the potion that's now magically next to you? Where did this come from? Spiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's everyone's gonna look at you when you say that. Just gonna stare at you and then kind of go back to putting their their stuff up. I'm gonna walk over to Father White and uh, mm-hmm. and ask him. You know, can you help me interpret something that my answer, or you know, my patron God has told me over the night? Certainly. Ooh. What did they? <laughs> I like it. The god Tempest tells me poison, poisonous lies disguised as truth. The young fall to their knees as the old ones rise. A sword, a shield, and magic you require. We're all, uh, or all shall forfeit their lives. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> That's damn good. I like that. Thank that was, you, god Tempest. That very good. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, is that in <laughs> chat, or can you like post that somewhere in chat? So, Yeah, sure. Here. Just post it in Roll20 for me, actually. I don't, I don't open chat for... For this, most of the time I don't. Yeah. So, sometimes I do, but uh, poisonous <clears throat> Aren't we all pretty young, well, except for magic, I guess, for being a human? Not really. I'm more like thirty years old. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're Say, pre older you? Man. I'm just under uh, thirty. Shit. Sword of shield. What what did you ask your? Um, you are 180 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's an he's an, he's an older dwarf. Pop pop. And and Warren's a little bit younger of you know he. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of middle, close kind of. Yeah, still starting out. Mm-hmm. Middle of the road. Uh, what what did you ask? What did you ask your God to make them give you such an answer? I asked for uh, asked Tempest for both guidance and protection. You would as know we, uh, you would know Tempest as a God of War. It's okay. not it's not an uncommon okay. one. A lot of generals and yeah, people follow it. I fear if what you ask a, a God of War will always be uh, <laughs> ill tidings. Kratos. <laughs> and I'll, that's yeah. all I'll say. <laughs> Thank you, Father White. I understand, Joe. Okay. So yeah, you so guys we're are on the road, right? Yeah, you guys are galloping away. Right. Um, I'll probably help with Father White to right. spark up a nice conversation. Oh, well, that'll end well. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a a zinger on Father White like we did Bree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kind of had an idea going with Bree. I'm just kind of winging it with magic. <laughs> uh, here we go. What do we got? Um, so far away, you're a man of cloth, you said. Um, can you tell me how you came to that? Oh, it, um, it runs in my family, child. Um, 
my father died when I was young, but my grandfather took me in. He's a um, he is also a father of our God, and um, our main monastery is at Bella Chulish. So I look forward to seeing my family again and um, arriving to I, I guess what I would call home. Okay. Do you know what uh, slayed your father? I do, um, but I would rather not speak of it. It is something um, very personal, but it is it is the it is what motivates me. I understand. I can I can I can understand that. Um, so was it just you and your grandfather, or did you have siblings or your mother? No, just just my grandfather and I. I'm the last in my line. <laughs> okay. Say goodbye to the the name Father White. Got no, got no babies. <laughs> I'm also sterile. <laughs> you want to bring that up? <laughs> All right. uh, thank you for sharing with me, Father White. Anytime. Anything I can do to help. Thanks for yelling at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, another couple hours are going to pass. You're probably about two or three hours away from Veripool. Last chance to do anything if you're wanting to talk to someone. Okay, I'm good. <clears throat> good. All right, so you guys are gonna get uh, pretty close. That's just for you, Rich. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna get pre as you guys are strolling into Veripol, um You're gonna see that the city's actually pretty, pretty dead. Um, there's not a lot of people on the road, and I mean, again, it's that's really odd considering it's about five, six p.m. Uh, springtime, of course. So I mean, it's not it's not like it's cold or too hot, but yeah. Um, as you guys get close to the town, you're gonna hear some yelling, almost hollering. Um, you don't, you can't quite tell where it's originating from, but you can obviously tell it's coming from the town. Um, and as you guys come into the town, um, it's gone. You don't, yeah, you don't hear this, the yelling, the hollering, the screaming uh, anymore. Um, but again, there's not, you don't really see anybody strolling the streets. Uh, you see all the houses, they look almost like they've been, you know, run down, abandoned for at least a couple weeks. Um, some of the doors are kicked in, some of the windows are broken, not fixed. Um, you see the taverns in perfect condition. <laughs> Nothing, nothing's wrong with the tavern. Um, I wonder why. But, uh, yeah, you, it's gonna, it's gonna strike you a little bit as odd, so... Now the yelling was it like boisterous yelling or was it like I'm being murdered yelling? Uh, screaming was I'm being murdered screaming. The yelling was like more or less like telling someone to shut up when you're really pissed off. You can't, uh -huh. you don't really hear that, but like it, you can hear the the yelling and the screaming. So okay, uh, it's almost a new hour. Should we take a break? Um, we won't just a minute. All right. Um probably go up to the mayor um is there anything we needed to do in this town or is this just passing through uh i believe we're gonna stop here grab some food grab a bite to eat drink um father white mentioned that the town's not too safe um due to some dwarves you guys met last night so i was thinking food drink uh, we stroll a couple hours further um, as long as the horses are up for it um, and i believe he actually needs to get a staff as well okay um, is there a place to send a letter in this town anywhere? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure you'll have to check around. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've not been, Thank I've you. not been this far in, you know, six or seven months. Uh, I appreciate your help. No problem. Okay. Seek out a blacksmith. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna wander a little bit, try not to get into trouble looking for... Anywhere to send a letter or anything like that. Okay. Um, so, Kane, you're going for Blacksmith? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess I would go to the same place. Going, okay. I guess they don't have, like, a stick smith. <laughs> uh, are, you looking, are you looking for no, weapons they'll have, or they'll have heavy, weapons? They'll have heavy woods for making weapons that you can make a staff out of. Uh, I'm probably not proficient in whatever. I'd probably end up <laughs> making a fucking... Uh... <laughs> Like a blowgun or something like that. Uh, <laughs> How does this happen? Uh, Magic, you probably want to find a weapon shop. Not necessarily a blacksmith. Yeah. Blacksmith's more for armor and sharp weapons. 
unless you're wanting a sharp mm-hmm. weapon. Uh, no. Staff, you're going to probably look for more like a, a weapon shop. They're based more like on wands, staves, quarter staves. Um, your smaller hand, like daggers, they'll have a couple daggers and stuff there as well. Mm. But um, yeah, the things that blacksmiths don't necessarily make. So, uh, Kane, real quick, we'll start with you. Uh, yeah, you get to the blacksmith. It looks like, uh, you know, you got the, the forge and all that stuff, and it doesn't appear that they, they have a lot of weapons when you when you get there. Uh, looking for armors. Looking for armors? Okay. Uh, yeah, you see that they only have, like, maybe one or two things of armor. Um, it, yeah, you plan? see hooks on the walls. You see tables laid out, but they're almost bare. Okay. Um, I'm seeking out plate armor. Okay. Uh, do I see any or immediately? Uh, you don't see any immediately. Uh, the, okay. the guy comes from the, uh, comes from the back of the store. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know someone came in. I apologize. Uh, what can I do for you? It's perfectly fine. Uh, I am seeking some plate armor, sir. If you had any already pre-made. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. I can make you some, um, but with all the going ons recently, um, kind of yeah, they just kind of take everything. So, who is they? Uh, the bandits in the area. Um, yeah. Provide me any other detail? Um, they got two orcs that normally come strolling into town with, like, an ogre, and sometimes they bring a couple other people just in case, depending on if they're trying to ransack and steal everything, or if they're just trying to come for, you know, come steal some, some ale and have a good time. It, it, it honestly just depends. They're, they're definitely not to be messed with. Even the, even the guards of the town have been killed. Thank you. Um, I place two two gold, uh, and I say for you know, for your information and for your time. Thank you. I, I appreciate it, sir. I do really. I'll put it to good use. Um, I head back out and head straight for the mayor. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's go shoot over to magic. Magic. Uh, you get to uh, a weapon shop, and um, it's a it's actually uh, a younger gentleman, maybe twenty six, twenty five. Um, mm-hmm. and he's just kind of sitting in a chair behind, uh, behind the, uh, the register, I guess, area sitting behind a counter. Doesn't say anything. Up. Yeah. Just kind of, do they have anything on the walls? Anything? Um, they got a couple things uh, again, kind of like the blacksmith. It's, you know, you, you're seeing hooks, you're seeing tables, uh, where things should be, but there's not a whole lot of anything. Um, I mean, you, if you're looking for a staff, you're going to see, uh, maybe one or two staffs. Um, you know, maybe one wand and, you know, some, you know, one or two daggers laying in his little uh, case by him. But, yeah, he's just going to kind of stare mm-hmm. at you uh, until you say something. Hello, sir. I was inquiring of a, I would like to purchase a quarter staff. Uh, there's going to be, they're just going to be right over there on the wall. He points to your right. Uh, it's the only, only two I got. Um, working on getting some more. I apologize. That's fine. How how much are you selling these for? Uh, you can just have it. And he seems no, very I, he seems very distraught, like he's just kind of fed up with everything. I would have to pay you something. Nothing's for free. Uh, things around here nowadays are. W- what troubles you, child? Just the set up shop here in this town, and it was it was booming for a while, and then these the bandits just. Kind of come as come and go as they please, and take whatever it is that they want. I mean, as you see, my shop's pretty pretty bare, and most all most all of it wasn't even sold; it was just taken from me. Well, we were warned of this town by two passing dwarves. They said uh, they said it was not a good place to be. I mean, what would make you stay here? Got nowhere else to go. I I can't afford to leave. I, you know, I can't make it, I can make it to the next town on foot, but it's going to be a couple of days and I don't really have the supplies to, you know, set up a fire at night and things like that. Well, been, what I, can you tell me about these bandits? When do they come? Do they stay in town? Do uh, they... they don't really stay in town. They, they more or less just come in, take what they want. If they're, you know, if they're looking for women, they go, you know, over, over to the crimson gutter. And if they're, you know, they're, they're trying to get some drink, they go to, they go to the ink. <laughs> You 
Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh, my God. Could you at least send the <laughs> You at least said the velvet gutter or something, <laughs> not the crimson gutter. <laughs> oh boy! Um, if oh gonna, boy! They go there to get their red wings. Uh, if they're, yeah, we if, do. They're, if, 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 if they're looking for drink, uh, you know, they go to the Angry Goblin. Um, you know, they pretty much ran us out of our weapons. Uh, even if you go check out the blacksmith, he's he's got nothing, just like me, pretty pretty much bland. You know, they come in whenever Doesn't they... does the mayor please. of the town do anything? Uh, he tried. Uh, he sent guards. At, he's asked assistance. Um, we're just waiting on a response from uh, from the capital. Um, but all the guards have been pretty much killed. And they're, they're we all just kind of fear, you know, fear the bandits now. And you... Uh, please, I must give you something for this. Uh, you, can, you can just have it. You, f you know, kill them and we're good. I'm not sure I can promise that, but I'll see if I can get some more information, and I'll be back. If not, I'll re I'll return this in one piece. Not like my last one. He nods, and yeah, just kind of sits back in his chair again. Give the peach. <laughs> uh, one more thing before I leave: Is there a house of worship in the town? Uh, it's been ransacked, but yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a couple blocks uh, north when you leave. All right, I'll go there. Check it out. Okay. Uh, um, let me find it. Yeah, yeah. You get to the uh, oh shit, went too far. You get to the the church. You see that it's been ransacked. Uh, the place of worship, uh, and it is for. Let's go with. Uh, the uh, worship of Gond, G O N D, the god of craft. Uh. Uh, mm -hmm. suggested domain again is knowledge so you would know a thing or two um, okay uh, you can see that uh, it's been more or less like it's been ransacked and like any any signs of gone which is uh, it's a toothed cog with four spokes that's the symbol of it um, it's been tampered mm -hmm. with and it's they do the best they can to like make it look like an upright skeletal arm holding balanced scales which is um, the God of the Dead, or Kelimvor. Ooh, another one. That's the one from before, that yeah, we remember. That is the one before, correct. Okay. Alright, is anybody in the, uh, church? Nope, nobody's in the church. Um, I mean, where, where all do you look in the church, I guess? I'd probably just go right in, maybe walk back behind, walk past the pews. I'm assuming it's set like a regular church, pews, Yeah, stage, you, got, you got the whole podium. bunch of the, yeah, the podium. Um, if you walk near, if the there's boat, a door or something reading to the back, I'd probably knock on it. Okay, uh, the door to the back's actually opened, um, and there's a letter sitting on the podium. Um, and it's going to say anything, you know, uh, for any of that uh, venture here uh, to worship. We've we've picked up and moved due to bandit raids. We've uh, pushed north towards Bella Chulish. and that's all it says. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I'd probably make my way out and then back to the cart and talk to the mayor. Okay. Uh, Bree, are you doing anything? I'm going to be sitting with the mayor the entire time. Okay. Warren, were you doing anything else? Do oh, sorry. What would you say, Bree? Yeah, because okay. I'm getting paid to do that. That's why. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Warren, anything else for you? Uh, I was, unless I found a letter place, place to send a letter. Because I have to send... Um, Oof. I gotta warn the barkeeper from the last town. Okay, yeah, uh, and we're actually gonna take a break right there. It looks like my oh. my, my zooms being stupid, anyways. So uh, we'll be back in just a minute, guys. Uh, gonna take a three or four minute break, and when we get back, we'll see what all is happening. I apologize, but I don't know what's actually happening with the the cameras on Zoom. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in three or four minutes. Let me grab my dinner.